Hi, Pristine Beers here with White Lilac Cleaning Services. And today I'm going to talk about your kitchen and clutter. So if you're like most of us, we have really busy lives, kids, family, traveling, summer's coming up, we have all these things going on, but where is the main focus of this we spend our time? And that's usually the kitchen, whether it's getting kids prepped and ready for off to school or packing that lunch for a kayak trip this summer, all of those things need kitchen space. And one of the areas of the house that continually can get cluttery is the kitchen. So I'm gonna give you 10 tips on what you can do to reduce clutter in your kitchen and create a great space for meal prep and just sitting down and having coffee on a Saturday afternoon after you've already had your house cleaned. So number one is declutter and organize regularly. Take some time to go through your kitchen cabinets, your drawers, your pantry, and get rid of items that you no longer use. Organize the remaining items in a way that makes them easily accessible and consider store better storage solutions. Um, tip number two, is limit countertop appliances and tools. So our countertops can get so cluttered that we can't get to them. So by limiting counter space with appliances, you're gonna have better use of your countertops. Um, tip number three is create designed storage areas. So if you have little small racks that you wanna use for maybe putting in your pantry area where you can put your cans or sodas that will help eliminate space or create more space, um, go onto Pinterest or Amazon. They always have great kitchen organization ideas that you can use and, and items that you can purchase at usually a pretty easy price and it's great shipping. Tip number four is streamline your cookware. In life, we always end up collecting a lot of pots and pans, fry pans and stainless steel pans or even um, camping goods and they get all mixed up in those kitchen areas. So when you're getting going through your kitchen, streamline those cookware, minimize only use the, keeping the ones that you use on a regular basis. If you have some items, like I have my cast iron skillets that I don't use very often other than when I'm cooking in the fire pit or taking it on camping trips, I store them in a different area outside of my regular use area in my kitchen. So when you're streamlining through those pots and pans, if they're damaged or broken or they're just getting old, toss them out and replace with new ones and help you to minimize. Now, tip number five is utilize vertical space in your kitchen. Now, a lot of us are probably not using hooks and magnets and additional higher shelving in a kitchen area to open up additional space or to hang items that would normally be taking, taking um, space in a drawer. When we hang those items up, it makes them more visible and become a little bit more accountable to not keeping too much stuff because everybody sees it. It's not hidden in the drunk, junk drawer. Now, tip number six is invest in space saving appliances. Now we all like to have those great appliances, but look for smaller appliances, especially if you have a smaller kitchen. Look for streamlined pro products or appliances that um, maybe are compressed or don't have all the extra gadgets that you really don't need if you're not gonna utilize them more. They make streamlined coffee, or coffee, co coffee pots, uh, Keurigs, um, toasters, do you need really four slice toaster or is a two sli slice toaster work just fine? Now, number seven is implement a one in and one out rule. So when you buy that new appliance, make sure you're getting rid of another one off the countertop. Or if it's an appliance that you're replacing an old one, make sure you toss the old one out or donate if it's, it's still usable to somebody who may be in need. That will keep you from duplicating appliances on the kitchen counter and open up free space. Now, tip number eight is use clear storage containers when you're storing items. Now you can buy um, stackable storage containers, you can buy clear storage containers and use them for your cereal, your rice and your sugar. That helps you to be able to manage your more vertical space in your pantry so that you can actually see what's in them without having to sit, search and dig. Now it's also gonna help with being able to rotate those things in your pantry to make sure that you're using the old product first and getting the new product behind it. Uh, tip number nine is maximize the space under the sink. Now, usually under the sink is some place that a lot of people don't utilize, but make sure you're use, utilizing it maybe with baskets or sliding drawers if you have them and utilizing it so that you are not duplicating items. If sometimes things get thrown in there that usually really should maybe be in the garage potentially. I know like in my house because I like to water my flowers and I use 
uh, fertilizer with them every week. Sometimes I stick that under the sink because it's easy and it's quicker than taking it out to the garage. So make sure you're following through and, and organizing and putting in place only the things that belong in the kitchen. Last and least, number 10 is establish a paperless system. Now, as much as you can, where does most paper end up that comes in from the kitchen? It's usually mail. So if there's items in your billing that you can, you can turn into um, a digital paper product or a digital bill instead of having a bill that is being mailed to you every week, saves on trees and saves on paper clutter. Also keeping your grocery list um, on your phone is a great way. You, there's all those free apps or just using your notes will help you do that and um, keep you from having additional clutter on your countertops. Now remember that maintaining a clutter-free kitchen is an ongoing process and it's not going to be overnight and it may involve training your husband or partner and your kids on making sure they put things away as they bring things in but as they see you mentoring over them on teaching them how to do it better everybody will enjoy the kitchen space more and have great meals and great conversation over clean countertops which is what we're looking for. So thanks for listening. Again, hit the subscribe button if you're interested in following us and learning more about how to manage your house. And we thank you and have a great day.